This ceremony marks the one year of the pandemic. And that one year commemoration at the fountain near the front entrance of Texas Health Presbyterian in Dallas. Please pray with me. It was for the 110 God patients who have died in this hospital from COVID in the past year and the two Texas health employees who COVID claimed to. We lift these prayers to you. And as Texas Health says, it has diagnosed nearly 67,000 COVID patients at its hospitals in one year and that nearly 1,500 have died. The chief of the medical staff in Dallas said this. There's a sense of hope as more and more people are getting the vaccine. As of today, COVID vaccine is now available to phase 1C, anyone over the age of 50 who was not included in the other initial stages. What I ask for people as more and more people are have the ability to get the vaccine is to trust the process. The caveat, of course, being vaccine availability. Dallas Fair Park, for example, opened Monday through Friday this week for second doses, but only Monday through Tuesday for first doses, a pace of vaccinations that concerns medical experts, especially now with statewide restrictions lifted. We are operating that we will likely have another surge uh, due to people traveling uh, for spring break. 70% of the staff here at this hospital is vaccinated. Now, those fears of another surge decreasing as more of the general public gets vaccinated too. Uh, we will get through this. Um, we just need a little bit more time. While hoping next time, next year, they don't need to gather to grieve again. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese. If you need to know how to register or get on a wait list, we've compiled all that information in one place and can send it to your phone. Just text the word vaccines to 214-977-6028. Again, 214-977-6028.